well, well, well. Why so glum? You know why. No, I don't. Care to explain? We've been experimenting for some time, and you've learned quite a bit, so... What's really going on? I'm learning this against my will, first off. Secondly, I've been... I've been thinking about him. Your king? I have. I miss him dearly. Hmm. Your love for him is admirable. You know, I know that the kingdom is throwing a feast, a rather large festival. They are. It is the end of year harvest, and we give thanks. It's part of the tradition of the kingdom. Mm, tradition's not all bad, although bucking tradition can be good too. Either way, I am away from him, and you wish to be with him again. Yes? I would. But I am here. Your... Prisoner. Prisoner's a strong word. Not the word I would use. Though not wholly inaccurate, I suppose. I'll tell you what. What if I make some arrangements? Arrangements? What do you plan on doing? Well... I would send you over to him, and they would send Roland to me. Fair trade? For how long? Hmm. Well, how would one day be? One day with my king would be... I won't lie to you. It's been months. I'm dying to see him. Dying, huh? You know what I mean. Please. All right. You've convinced me. I do still have kind of a heart, you know. It's actually right here. This mechanism is... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got excited. All right. Let me go ahead and see if I can negotiate this. I will send a message to your king. Once we do this, when you get back, you must get more diligent with your work. The last time you made quite a few mistakes, and they were very costly. The council has been wondering more about what we're doing here, and I've been trying my best to keep them off my back. They don't know that Roland is behind the lines. Do you think they would approve? Oh, of course not. But I don't care what they want. All they want is politics, politics, politics. I'm about invention. That's why I'm an artificer. And a necromancer. But I feel like if they caught wind of what was actually happening here, they would shut us down. Because they want results. Of course they want results. I don't blame them for that. I want results more than anyone. But I also understand that you need a delicate balance. You can't just go out experimenting. There has to be theorem behind it. Or else, well, you're just being cruel. I suppose you're right. In either case, you do understand that I will tell the king everything I know. About you, about this place. Yes, I'm aware that that is very much a situation. But I don't think your king is in a position to actually do anything about it. Not that I'm threatening him, or you, for that matter. No, why would we ever think that? Mainyard, please. I'm just trying to get this job done. This experiment of yours. 
mass resurrection. The amount of power, I've been looking at it. The amount of power that you would have to draw to do this is astronomical. Where would you get it? There's no source that I can think of that could actually withstand this. Ah, but that's where you're limiting your view. You see this as a power draw. I see it as a power exchange. You see, we need to get these souls back into the bodies. And to do that, we need something to convert them. And so, we'll take the soul cages that we use and put them through these reliquaries. When they pass through, they'll be turned into pure energy. And once they've done that, we can transfer that energy back into the body. Now, we've done this on a small scale. One or two people at most at a time. And it works very effectively. Although, whether or not it's fully capable of doing that is still a working hypothesis. Not only on the scale, but how do you know that these people are fully back in their bodies, that their souls are back the way they're supposed to be? What do you mean? They're moving, and they're doing things. They follow commands. Anybody can follow commands. I'm following commands now, aren't I? Under duress, mind you. But that doesn't mean that they're not... Not what, Mainyard? Mindless. They're not like Roland. They're not like me. They're not like you. They're not making conscious decisions. They need to be directed. Is that truly life? Or a mimicry of it? Hmm. A wonderful observation. Perhaps there is more to it than that. That's going to require time. Time we don't have. And I can't think about the philosophy of it. I was tasked with building an army. And so you're going to build it? Yes. Right. I can see now. You're just... trying to make the best soldiers possible. Unliving soldiers. And who will they come after, you think? That's not my purview. That will be up to the Council of Liches. Do you trust that they won't attack our kingdoms? The dwarves? The orcs? The elves? The humans? Hell, what about even the kobolds and the goblins? I understand your concern. I do, but it's out of my hands, Maynard. Everus, if you don't do anything, if I don't do anything, I will lose my position, I will lose my power, and they will send me back to death. So I have to do this. They threaten to kill you. Well, they can't kill me, I'm already dead. But... If something happens to my phylactery, the soul cage that carries my soul, and I should wither in this form in some way, I will have no way to return. So, like a true lich. Yes. I haven't found a way to counteract this yet. I have been researching for years, but there's been no avail. No lich has ever overcome this one major weakness. As long as the soul cage stays fine, we can return as much as we'd like. It takes some time, mind you, but we'll return. And they have your phylactery? No, they don't. What? I keep a phylactery with me. You keep it on your person? Isn't that insane? It's the last place anyone would ever dare to look! Besides, there's powerful enchantments on it. If anyone tries anything, they'll be cursed beyond all oblivion. It's not quite fun for them. Why are you telling me this? Truthfully, I don't know. You're a good student. 
and a very good listener. I can see why your king likes you. Hmm. But I think there's something more to it. I trust you, Maynard, in a way that I don't even trust Roland. Roland seems more interested in bloodshed and having things go wrong. But still, thank you for talking with me. I will go ahead and send the message for your king. We'll get this squared away, and then you can enjoy your thanks giving feast. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mavris. Don't even worry about it. Are you alright? There seems to be a melancholy about you. I won't lie. I'll miss having the presence of someone so lively. Lively? I barely do anything. But your presence is calming. And it helps me think. I'm going to miss having you here. The camaraderie of it all. I understand. It's the relationship of a student and a teacher, yeah? Something like that, I think. I've got much to, to worry about. I really should take care of this. I'll talk to you later, all right? As you wish, Mavris. Thank you, Maynard. So, my lord, we have a message. It is from the necromancer. Your chancellor seems to understand that. Is that not right, Magnus? It is correct. I see no reason for him to lie to us. And everything that Roland has told us is that this... Necromancer is reliably decent. He is too good. The only reason I have not killed all of you is because he has asked me not to. Yes, you've made that abundantly clear. But you will return to him, yes? I will. And I expect that you'll tell him everything that you've seen in these halls, yes? Indeed. As I expect very much of your knight captain to do the same. What do you wish to do here, King? Your Majesty, you have all the power in this situation. Then I will use my magics and make sure that we can bring him back. Even for the day, we will trade him. Know this, Roland. All that you've seen has been limited. You've not been into the war room. You've not been to any of our storewares. What do you plan on telling, Mavris? Simply the truth. That you are weak. That you are vulnerable. And if it came down to it, I would know exactly what to strike. I know all of the weak points of this castle. You think you do. I have seen enough of them. And I know which guards would be easily incapacitated. To a night run. For sure. Disturbing as that may seem. I think it might be a good idea. We can find out what Maynard knows, what Mavras is working on, and you can finally have some time with the man you've been waiting for. It's true. Can't deny it. It's a good idea, good plan. I think we should do it. Besides, so I've been champing out the bit. We can bring everybody in. The tribes, everyone can have a big feast, yeah? Just a few days, all of us are troops at the front line. 
think we can swing it? It's certainly a good idea to try. I know the elves would be more than happy to meet with you, though my father will use it as a means of getting more detail on you. He is still convinced that I should seduce you. <laughs> or kill Minion and seduce you. It won't be happening, though. Alright, then we shall try now, Roland. We will send you over. We will get things arranged. Very good. Know, though, that this act of goodwill does not dissuade me from wishing to dispose of you all. Understood. All right. I shall send a message. We will convey and we will convene. In the meantime, let us think of happier things. A feast for all of our men and all of the women on the front lines and everyone in between. I think it would be good for morale after all these months of this campaign. As you wish, my liege. I admit, I'm quite impressed. You put up quite the spread. Look at them. They're all having fun. I haven't seen my men this joyous and raucous around orcs in quite some time. Though, don't be surprised if the enough drunks get into a fight. But we'll deal with a brawl if we need to. Right. You ready to see him? Your man. Good. I've been meaning to share something with you. No, nothing bad. But, uh, I've commissioned something. For you, and for Menya. Aye. I figured it was time. It's clear you've made your decision, and it's clear you've made your mind up. I know what Magnus might say, but don't you think it's worth the time for him to be promoted, I mean? Menyard. Aye, I thought as much. So here. Well, two things. One that I made, and the other that Doom Cleaver's betrothed, <laughs> betrothed made, uh, Oakenite, the blacksmith. Aye, he made this. The rings, sire. What do you think? One for you, one for him. There's also, you know, of course you can give him the ceremonial badges and whatnot that indicate that he's been promoted from Knight Captain to, well, whatever you guys have after Captain. <laughs> How did I know all of you the ins and outs of your military? I don't do hierarchy the same way. Nah, understandable. What do you say? Aye. Speaking of which, here comes Dunkleaver now. Sire, did you get the rings? Good. I've been really excited to see what you think of them. My betrothed, Wokenheit, he's been working really hard on them. Do you like them? Now, I know that the rough finish on one of them seems... Odd. But there's a reason for it, right? We came up with the idea. And Orf makes one for him. One that's pristine and pretty. And we make one for you. One that's rough to remind you where your night captain came from, you see. It's symbology. Uh, it's symbolic, I mean. Right. What you think? And we even worked with uh, the dwarves to make a small detail. You see there? 
一个有问题小伙子，我能救吗？ There's also some other smaller details you can probably, well, you can't probably quite see without the proper tools. But we worked really hard on it. We did. What you say? I think what we're trying to get at is, I think this might be your only opportunity to ask him to marry you. You don't really have to do it now if you don't want to. But considering how long it's been, the months, what do you think? You've talked with all of us. You've talked with Sudriel. You've talked with me. You've talked with everyone. But we all know. Who you belong to, where your heart lies, and what better day than on a feast for Thanksgiving? I, I thought as much. And if you do it in front of all of these people, I guarantee you, the dwarves will have your back, and the orcs too. I talked to my father, Godchopper. And he's all for it. He saw what you and I have been able to do together, and he's happy, real happy. The orcs haven't felt this good in years. Like the sense of relief in my tribe has been unmistakable. We owe you, and so we banded together. That. Isn't just made of stone, by the way. It's made of a precious mineral, something rare. It's made from a meteorite, you see. Hey, and the ring we made isn't just gold. It's inlaid with platinum, and all sorts of other things. Again, it's that symbology we talked about, right? Everyone owed you this. Because you've done something for. Look at our orcs over there, partying it up with dwarves, elves. Like there's no problems. There's never been blood between us. You made that possible. Let us give back to you. You deserve to be with the man you love. I, I agree. Not to be the person from the shadows. Stop! Stop doing that! I'll stop doing it when it stops being funny. But my father will be the only person who disapproves. But my father's not here. He's off having his own feasts. Back home, hosting some of the Feywild. Yes, he throws a raucous party for sure. But I think the elves here appreciate what you've done. I know I do. So, will you propose to him today? I think it's a smart idea. See, we're all in agreement. What do you see? That's the ticket. Oh, look, here we go now. Here's your man. Fresh from the other side, we've given him a chance to bathe and change into his, you know, military uniform, so he looks a little dapper. But there he is. Don't let us hold you back any longer. Go to him and take the fucking rings, will ya? <laughs> My liege. To see you. Months, months have I been waiting. Should you kiss me so openly? What about all the men? What about all the people seeing? What, what will they? You don't care. I'm grateful to be here with you now. I've been waiting so long, and I've so much to tell you. But right now, 
Right now, I just want to be in your arms again. I know we only have the night. 24 hours. And I have much to tell you. You have something to tell me. What are you? Do you wish to wait a moment? Of course. Has it something to do with the war effort? My liege, your highness, I will do whatever you ask. You have to give the speech, yes? Right. Um, you'd like for me to give the Thanksgiving speech? No, right. I can do that for you. It is so good to be here. Right. When am I giving this speech, then? Now? I have nothing to prepare. I've... <laughs> your faith and trust in me is wonderful, but you're putting me on the spot here. But there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. That smile. <laughs> you mischievous little man. <laughs> well, not little, I just... Sorry, I... I've missed you, too. Yes, for you. <laughs> Greetings, my fellows. Hello, all of you. I am Knight Captain Maynard. Ah, there's a correction that needs to be made there. What do you mean? Shall we present him the honours? Thank you, me king. Knight Captain Maynard, or should I say, former Knight Captain Maynard. You have been officially promoted. Promoted? Whatever do you mean? I, I haven't done... You've done more than enough. You've fought Mariah's side. You've brought our men and our peoples together. Without you, this would be impossible. And so, you have been promoted. What is this, my liege? Yes, I will kneel, as you see fit. The laws of a general. You can't be serious. Not when I'm still behind enemy lines. I do not question your authority. Now, as a king myself, for those of you in the nobility who may question whether this is nepotism or something similar, I say unto you, fuck yourselves. Sorry, just how we talk or in the Dwarven Kingdom. This man has proven himself not only loyal, but has sacrificed much, and done great things for all of this community. So, we have led it to a vote, and I, King Thran Throwbarrel, have put in that this man should be promoted to a general. He's also had the vote of confidence from us, the elves, and I, Sudriel, Prince and son of Ferriman, agree that this man should be promoted. And I, good chopper of the Oak tribe, the Warfang tribe, agree this man has proven himself. And so, we say yes, let him be one of your generals. I would be proud to be in a war with him. That is not the only announcement that we have been told about. But before we do, the Thanksgiving message from our new General, General Mania. I can tell you with no small amount of joy 
how grateful I am to all of you. To those of you who have bled with me on the battlefield, who have seen and faced horrors beyond all imagining. I am grateful to all of the peoples who have set aside their differences to come together today to be united as one. I am grateful to you all. And I am thankful for the role as general, but more importantly, for this ability to serve you all, to work and walk with you, to protect this land and to protect what it now stands for, the uniting of people. And I am grateful most of all to our most gracious king who has made this all possible with his level head, his compassion, his fierce loyalty to you, his people, and to all of those surrounding kingdoms, so that we may all have good intentions with one another. We will enter into an age of prosperity once our enemy, the necromancers, are crushed. I have no doubt of it. We will survive, we will thrive, and it will be thanks to our good king and the relations that we have made. But most importantly, to you out there, who have opened your minds and opened your hearts after years and years, decades. We are doing things differently, bucking tradition, and we are grateful to all of you. So thank you for all that you've done for us. And may all the gods bless us. There is one more announcement before we begin this feast. My liege. My lord, what are you doing? You shouldn't be on your knees, what are you? Mary. Yes. Yes, of course I would marry you. I would never dream of marrying anyone else. To think that <laughs> to be proposed to by a king. <laughs> My head is swimming. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish to spend the rest of eternity with you. However long that may be. Then let us give thanks, indeed. Let us give praise and thanks to our new Knight Captain Turn General and soon to be King, alongside His Majesty. Long may they reign. Long may, Long they, may reign. they reign. Long may they reign. Long may they reign. Now. To your feasting, everyone, let us celebrate with joy. Ah, Roland, wonderful to see you again. I doubt that. Hmm, just as sundry as ever. What have you learned? Not much. I know where we can strike if we need to. That shouldn't be necessary. You are not thinking clearly. I'm thinking plenty clearly. And I'll have you know, there's much more than meets the eye to our dear Captain Maynard. What do you mean? He is just a low-level knight. He is of no concern. He would be another body on the battlefield. That is why you're wrong. His mind, it's brilliant, he's absorbed everything. And I've come to learn something very interesting. Or are you going to leave me in suspense? Only for a moment. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for visiting with me. Uh, this was a little bit of a longer audio, and I had a lot of great intentions with it. Uh, I wanted to move the story along and like go back to some of the romantic roots of the story. 
Um, so, and I just wanted to put that out there. But right now, it's Thanksgiving. You guys are here listening to this audio, so I can't tell you how grateful I am to all of you for sharing this audio with me. I want to be very candid here. You guys have made it possible for me to do this on a regular basis. I have felt more creative energy flowing through me, being able to do what I want, how I want it, and not just sticking to one thing or another. I, I've never had that before. I have not been felt shoehorned into doing one thing. You guys have been phenomenal. I cannot tell you how grateful I am to every single one of you who has subs- who have subscribed, who have listened, who have commented, who have liked, who have done all of those things. And for those of you on Patreon who have made it possible for me to do all of these wonderful things in such a expanse, I, I am so grateful to all of you. I never thought when I started this channel that I would get to where I am right now. Being able to help my family, support my family, and do something creative and fun. It's a dream that most of us can only dream about. It's, it's literally... Wow. <laughs> so, from the bottom of my heart, and with all of my soul, thank you all so very much. And... I hope you guys have a lovely, safe Thanksgiving here in America. I, you know, I hope everything goes well. I hope there are fewer fights. I hope things... I am recording this in October, uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. But just for all of us here, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and... As always, I will see you in the next audio. Sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.